Okay, this is the third video uh, for a meeting with Christine Barcom. Uh, in order to take and research Jean Parfait, uh, you need really need the information on her husband, Bernard Kern. And this is his, his records. Uh, he was in the Navy. Uh, he was in the Navy when he met her. Uh, one of the key documents is, in here that I'll be using is the family name Kern. Uh, this was uh, compiled by a family member. Um, many family members contributed to it, including Bernard. And uh, Bernard helped me with uh, his records. And uh, he's, I think my mother gave me a copy of this, but he referred to it quite a bit. And uh, this was his description that went into that book and uh, gives you a lot of detail. I think I'd be hard to hard find to find that. Okay, uh, I'm going to page on down here to his military records. Uh, here's the first indication that he's in the military. Uh, that it's a newspaper article. Here's another. It's hard to see th that article. And that's the same article as second second copy. Here he is uh, taking his first physical. Uh, I don't know what this record's about. It had something to do. Now, this list of assignments is great. Uh, and I use it all through this timeline uh, for getting everything organized and everything. So that's that. He's having another physical. That's the same list of assignments. He went to the Great Lakes Naval Training Center. That was in a family named Kern. Uh, he reported to Armed Guard Signal School. That's at Treasure Island. Um, he was assigned to a small aircraft carrier. I won't try and say its name because I always mess it up. Let's see if uh, that's in fold three. And this is the document that's in fold three on that ship. That's the same list of assignments again. Here's another document from fold three. Similar document to the one before. Get another physical. And now he's reporting aboard it. Uh, it's possible that the, the ship was in uh, being built at the time. It seems to me that the family story is that he went out to Washington to pick up the ship at the at the yard. Uh, here he is. That's his service number. I've forgotten what this grade means. But that's his, his grade and the date. And uh, let's see, what did I do? I did that. Did I do this? Yep, I did that. Okay. He's in Washington, according to a family named Kern. List of assignments. He had not met her yet. Uh, here's another document. And this is this is Muster Rolls on Fold Three. It's an early version of Fold Three, I can tell you. And he's about right here. And Bernard J. And in this one, I believe this is a rank change. He's now AS, whatever that means. Okay. I had these all looked up, but I don't have them with, at hand today. Okay. Then he arrived in San Diego. On the way down to San Diego, they had a scare uh, that there was a submarine out there uh, on him. Uh, he became the ancient order of shellbacks. Uh, this is uh, crossing the equator. There, this is a story about that. And... Uh, Number two should be the article in the local newspaper. Nope. 
That's still talking about the shell backs. Okay. Natalie's at, at an, uh, an island in the Pacific. And then he goes to Guadalcanal. Um, he went to Seaman First Class at Guadalcanal. I didn't find the uh, documentation for that. I'm sure there is one. It just may not have been scanned. Oh, this may be it. Bernard? Yeah, it says second class there. Probably went up to first class, came back to second class. He was doing that all the time. He returned to San Diego. Let's see what we've got here. RJ. It's another roster. Now he's first class. He may have his dates off in the family name, Kern. He wrote that after the fact. Okay. Uh, here he is again. And this is about the ship. And it's... Anyway, it's more ship information. And let's see what this one is. This is another one. Another. Uh, Jack Kern. Bernard J. It's marked out for some reason or other. Uh, he had made first class, so they marked out that. So he's probably been busted down to second again. He was up and down quite a bit. Here's another list. Uh, I think this is the one that's one of them's got him. There he is at the bottom. And now he's back to first class again. He kept going up and down. Another physical. He's in San Diego. The ship is in San Diego anyway. <laughs> And here's another list, Kearns. Bernard J. Ah, he's still first class. He stayed up there for after a while. Here he is. Here's the ship again in San Diego. Here's where he visited home and saw his mother for the last time. It's a singleman, singleman third class there. This is the ship in India. He saw most of the Pacific while he was there. While he was on board these ships in World War II. And now they're back in San Francisco, California. He made third class and fallen captain. Uh, okay. And that's, this is probably the one that says that. Okay. 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 Let's see what he's doing here. Yeah, it still says first class. Here's another one. So like I said, I've got all kinds of records about him. I can always use with more, but right now I've got quite a few records about him. So here we go. Here's another record. And another record. Uh, 
and it says third class. And he showed up in the um, annual for his high school in 1944. And, yeah, here's another picture, and he's right there. Good thing I remember that. And the source is uh, my heritage. And then here's another listing of ships in the yard. And that was where... Uh, I didn't f figure out where that was. Here he is again. And he's third class there. And... And he's third class there. Someplace or another, he makes a quartermaster. Well, I have quite a few records on him. He's on this ship for quite a while. Here's the battle, two battles that he was in. That shows up in the family name Kern. Also shows up in the ship's registry. Most of this can be backed up in the ship's registry. There he is. 1942. He was back in the United States in 45. There was the two battles. He's in Guam. I am going to skip over this. Made second class in 45. Uh, yeah. Now he's third class again. Another physical. This is another. And he's second class there. These mean more to you than they do to me. Another physical. Uh, then he gets married to Jean. So now Gene comes on the scene. I don't know how long they dated before that. Um, in the family name Kern, he said that uh, that she was uh, depressed because her husband had been killed in and, uh, and, uh, the South Pacific. And he had helped her get over that depression. And the next thing, they, they were getting married. And uh, they were together for a long time. There it is. Second class with a T, tech, technical, I guess. It's back in Tacoma. Tacoma is where the family was living at the time. Back on the, the ship again. Back on the ship. Um... There's a muster row for the Borg, which I think you'll find he is Kern Bernard. He's on the Borg. Now he's a uh, SM1. He's back on the Borg again. I think the uh, aircraft carrier had damaged in one of the battles, and he ended up to this next ship. They do their forms a little differently. 
There he is. I guess you say pronounce it Borg. Now they're in Tacoma and there's a city directory. There's Gene with and the address. He's a first class signalman now. Uh, first child is our, their first child together is barn. Said you're welcome to any of these records. There it is, Bernard J. This shows him in Evansville. This is an Evansville directory. Hmm. Oops. Wasn't going to show any physicals. Okay, here's the death of his mother. Margaret Kern right there. There's my father listed. And my mother listed. Another physical... Uh, Tacoma, Washington, Bernard Kern. Oh, that's a physical exam paper. Okay, now the USS uh, Osborne lost its bow. And he was writing articles in the USS Osborne paper. And this is one of them. Uh, Bernie Kern's photos. These are photos supplied by Bernie Kern uh, from the Osborne. He's on the Osborne at this point. So there's some pictures of him then the, on the Osborne. Uh, well, that's a lot of information, source information. There's what the bow looks like. Now, if I understand the, his story correctly, he was standing right there when the uh, on night watch. When the ship came through and took the bow off the Osborne, Osborne. Uh, the Osborne was in the China Sea at the time. Tangled China. And that was that one. Let's see. That's another picture of the same thing. And that's a closer picture of the bow. Like I said, he was standing right there when it came right across. He was within a foot of the other ship. That may be him on the bow now. In that picture, I can't tell. Here's the Osborne, and I there it is. PJ Kern, he's a quartermaster first. I love some of these documents. They're just faded out. Don't you just love these copies? There he is, Bernard Kern. Our master one. Okay. How do I get back up there? Okay. Now we're in forty eight. 
and he's still on the Osborne. There he is. I'm scrolling across there because I'm. I think that uh, you may understand these numbers better than I do. Lots of records for him and the military. And he's in Pearl Harbor. There's the Osborne. Spent Christmas and New Year's in Tokyo, Japan. He was away from his family a lot. He arrived in back at Long Beach Shipyard. And here's where they got the new bow. And now he's back to China. Let's see if there's a document that supports that or no, oh, no. They were the last ship out of China. Had to be a little bit of a trying time. Last ship to leave China before the fall to the commies. Uh, that's another physical and another physical, another physical. Physical, I'm not going to bore you with physicals. It just shows that he was physically in the military at the time. Physical, 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 physical. Lots and lots and lots and lots of physicals. So this was an evaluation of skills. Let's see what it does. I was really happy with the records I got for Bernard and the records I got for my grandfather, uh, Harry uh, Sr. I thought it was a pretty good review. Uh, from my standpoint, it looked like he was, he got some in the plus category and some in the medium counting. So uh, that describes his duties, how proficient he is in the in the position. You have to explain petty officer to me versus quartermaster. I assume that quartermaster is better. My brother's a quartermaster in the Coast Guard or was. He was quite happy to do that. Thing. He was in the quartermaster's group that goes to D.C. and and uh, lobbies Congress for different things for the, the Coast Guard all the time. Uh, I'll try and get off the physical stuff. I think I'll go back. It's basically his evaluation. He was transferred to this operation in Norfolk. And then uh, he was uh, involved with the atomic war room. It's uh, interesting that there were there were three in the family that were involved with the outfitting of that. I was one of them. Uh, another child was born. Chief petty officer, and now he's in Norfolk. I don't think he's going to stay there. I think that uh, there's another physical. He was transferred to England. He lived there for two years. He visited quite a few different uh, places. And uh, he became Gator of the Week here. That made the local newspaper. 
in Evansville. And uh, he was transferred to the Joint Chiefs of Staff. And uh, he was, here he's talking to John F. Kennedy. And here he's, he's talking to McNamara, letting him go into the reserves. And uh, now we're into the public records. So, all righty. So that's, whoops, went too far. Let's go down here to the bottom. Maybe I was, uh, I thought I was in military records. I didn't do him the way I did my grandfather. He was in military records and then just move on down. There's the Gator of the Week. So that's a marking point. So now they're, they're basically retired. Both of them are retired out of the military. And he started communicating with me uh, various documents that he, he collected uh, for me that I've recorded in here for when the, uh, and okay, here's his death. And so you've seen all that with, with Gene's stuff. Uh, so he's in Arlington National also, and the reports there are better. So that's a quick summary. You're welcome to any of these records. Uh, just let me know what you want.